from R and D, Aaron. I don't know what you do all day. Can you tell everybody? No, it's top secret. I am mostly in the lab formulating products. So he's and testing and testing and testing. Test tubes, speakers, all that crazy stuff. Yes. Um, so if anybody as we wait on a few more people to join us, if you guys got our um, email this past week. We're going to be talking about EDT today, so we got um, a couple questions about that, but we're also going to be giving away some product. Uh, six bottles, actually, of this size, 16 ounces, trees 400 gallons. So push your questions. Tell us about your diesel. Um, just comment, and, and we're going to pick some winners at the end. Um, we got we got a bunch of stuff to talk, to, talk about today, Aaron. Uh, I guess first, let's, uh, let's start with last weekend uh, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this because we had out all diesel super series it was the uh hardway sunshine showdown uh and hope for the emerald coast dragway and um the reason why it's so exciting we got a new record out of the weekend so it's actually the, the second record um running hot shot secret adrenaline race oil um so we had Larsa miller Team Firepunk in their Save the Racks S10. Um, you, Aaron's a racer, um, so why don't you go ahead and tell us huh. tell us right. the numbers there? This is a their Pro Mod truck ran out 447 to 167 miles an hour in an eighth mile. Yeah, an eighth mile. So uh, that's the new record for fastest diesel diesel door car on the planet. So that's that's super exciting. Um, a lot of chaos that weekend going back and forth with um, a couple records were broke and then uh, Firepunk came in they, they broke the record or tied it actually with, with Ryan Milliken um, our rate performance and then they broke the broke the truck so Firepunk had to scramble do some work and got ready for the final pass and, and set the record for good so that was exciting um, and I mentioned that was the second record um, the other record on adrenaline race oil is uh, Wade Moody, which is the fastest diesel um, in the eighth mile. He ran a 411 at 179 miles an hour. So uh, that's pretty exciting for us and, and also for Firepunk and, and Wade. Uh, let's see. We got some stuff coming up. Um, tomorrow, local, everybody that's local um, in Mount Vernon, Ohio, Tomorrow is cash days at Pacemakers. Um, like I said, Aaron's a racer. He's going to be there. He's going to be racing, signing autographs. That's right. Cool stuff. Um, so yeah, what, what do you I'm got? Gonna be, what are you going to be racing? I'm be racing the 68 Camaro. 68 Camaro. In the 750 index class. Okay. I'll be looking out for it. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got. Next weekend, um, September 29th and 30th, is the UCC qualifier um at waggler indiana um so ucc you know they do the big three we're gonna have uh, drag racing sled pulling uh and dyno competition there so if you're gonna be around go check that out it'll be a good time and then a couple a uh, couple finals coming up um Alvo diesel super series we have the rudy's fall truck jam that's the uh, the last leg of, of odss october 5th and 6th in Julian, North Carolina, that's at Piedmont Dragway. And then uh, NHRDA World Finals, that's taking place October 12th and 13th. You might have heard about it because we're doing a bunch of uh, VIP giveaway stuff for that. Um, that's in, in Ennis, Texas at the Texas Motorplex. So that'll uh, that'll be a good time. That's, that's what's coming up in the foreseeable future. Um, as we've done the past couple of weeks, we, we go through and tell you about our, our new dealers that came on board, joined the Hot Shots team. Uh, Aaron, you want to run through those? <laughs> Absolutely. <coughs> uh, we have a Granby truck shop in Hot Sulphur Springs, Colorado. Black Smoke LLC in Bozeman, Montana. Show and Go Diesel Performance near Salt Lake City in Elwood, Utah. Uh, Master Tech Automotive in Arroyo Grande, California. It's got a bunch of new people on the West Coast. <laughs> so welcome board guys. Excited to have you. Uh, let's see. We also got a web special going on right now. It's it's uh, getting ready for winter. So winter special 
It's uh, a one quart six of eliminator, uh, a 16 ounce diesel extreme this size here, which treats 40 gallons. and select retailers so if you're out and about need some go go pick that up you can save five bucks all right uh let's see aaron we're, we're talking about edt uh we got a couple questions already um first we'll start with uh tom g because this is actually a question about fr3 um our oil additive he's asking how soon can you use the fr3 um in an engine um we typically tell people you know, after the break-in period. So give it your five, 6,000 miles, whatever it may be. Um, talk to your engine manufacturers, get, get an idea of what they recommend. Um, and you want, you want to kind of explain that, why why we don't recommend as of yet anyway to, to right. use it right out of the gate? We'd like to have the cylinder rings and the cylinder walls broken first. So they, they made up well. And the nanocarbons are such a excellent lubricity additive that it may hinder the break-in period so, you, make so sure. you won't seal and yeah you gotta make sure everything sits and, and right. as well. they're good yeah so uh tom g that's answer your question if you're anything else feel free to, to send it this way um i've had a few vehicles that have used fr3 right off the bat and with no ill effects but we haven't done enough we don't have enough data to, yeah. to endorse until after the breaking period. And of course, that's what we're about, right? Testing, research, test results, um, science, right? Yeah. <laughs> so until we get some more stuff, we, we don't recommend that uh, until after the breaking period. Um, let's see, EDT. So we'll, we'll kind of jump into this. Um, actually, we, we, we got a question from Evan, Evan Tracy. Um, does EDT have any winter anti gel? Um, great question, Evan. Actually, EDT, we, we kind of promote this as the, the winter product, or I'm sorry, the summer product for your fuel. Um, for the winter, you want the winter anti-gel, which is going to have all the same benefits of the EDT, except for it's winterized. So it's going to help you with your, your gel problems, um, fuel on freeze up, those kind of things. Aaron, tell us... Uh, so a lot of times when we're out, say we're at, at a race or something, we get somebody in the booth asking about EDT. Uh, we tell them how, you know, if, if you if you use EDT, you're going to take your standard diesel fuel at the pump and you're going to turn it into premium diesel uh, just by using an ounce or two of EDT. Kind of go through that, Aaron, and tell yeah, everybody why that is. Cetane improvement oil is the premium diesel fuel. So the one ounce shot will give you a four percent or a four point increase in cetane if you use the two ounce performance dose you'll get a seven point increase um, it also adds lubricity So, you know, like California, for example, I'm pretty sure they're, they require a 50 CTA rating in their diesel fuel. Um, but from pump to pump, it's going to vary. Uh, so that's, you know, talking about our CTA boost, whether it's four points or seven points, um, it, it's, it's going to help you out because if, if you stop somewhere and then get a bad batch of fuel, um, it'll, it'll bump up the quality of that fuel and, and put it in spec at least where, where it should be. Uh, shout out to Art. Um, Art put a comment about the products. He's uh, he's he he races in the uh, Outlaw Diesel Super Series and a couple other circuits. And, uh, appreciate the the love, Art. So um, let's just kind of do.
do the breakdown of EDT, Aaron, you, you mentioned the, the few, it's, a, it's technically a six in one product. Um, so we mentioned Cetane Boost, uh, Lubricity Enhancer, Water Dispersant, Rust and Corrosion Inhibitors, uh, Fuel Stabilizer, something else, Injector Cleaner. <laughs> Can't forget Injector <laughs> Cleaner. Um, I, I, I kind of want to talk about the importance of making sure your, your fuel additives that you use out there grade, grade high in all of those categories and why that's important. Um, and you, you kind of want to talk about, you know, why you need as much as you can in, in one product. For example, as opposed to just a product that's going to be uh, a high cetane boost or um, going to add lubricity, why it's important to, to get as much into one as you can. <laughs> it's... <laughs> yeah, there are all the... EDT is a full, fully formulated product that does cover all of those bases. Um, a lot of C10 boosters don't have the lubricity to follow up with the C10 because it dries out the fuel. Um, so to keep your injectors and fuel pumps, you need the lubricity additive mm -hmm. and fuel stabilizers, rust corrosion inhibitors. I mean, definitely. basically, the, <clears throat> the point is, if you're using a product that's uh, high in lubricity, uh, um, but lacking in these these other areas, you know, you, you'll be set with the protection that the lubricity is going to give you. But then you're missing out on, you know, the c boost, which is going to help uh, a little bit power if you're if you're pulling a load, uh, fuel economy. And then, you know, we're, we're talking about rustic corrosion inhibitors, your uh, if you plan on keeping a vehicle for a long time, you you, you want to have that in there so your tank's not going to rust out, your your fuel lines are going to stay in good shape for your two hundred fifty thousand plus miles. Um, so we we believe at Hot Shots that it's it's important to get as much out of a product as you can, and that's why we we do a, a six in one product. <laughs> uh, I, I want to ask you, Aaron, because you're in the lab, you know about all this stuff. Um, internal diesel injector deposits, uh, IDIDs. So we know that the tip of your injectors will get gummed up and your spray patterns will be off, uh, but not a lot of people know about IDIDs, which is deposits, that, deposits that's going to form on the internal components of the, uh, of the injectors. Um, so using R2 fuel additives, we'll, we'll clean those out. But I, if you could just kind of tell everybody about right, they're IDIDs. Mostly carboxylic salts. Um, our product does dissolve those and keep them from forming in the first place in, in a batch of fuel. Um, so, yeah. Well, what, what if, if you start to get these these deposits to form. Right. So with the IDIDs, the, it's a mechanical issue. The, the plunger will not move in and out. You have a little delay in your spray for your injector, and your, you'll lose power, or it'll get hung up and leak fuel. So by maintaining the cleanliness of the inside, you get your improved power well, performance. Talking about just cleanliness of the injectors um the the clearance side of injector is you know maybe five microns um which which is so small you can't see with the human eye so um any little varnish that's going to get built up it, it's going to rub against your injector uh the internal components and, and start causing wearing and premature failure um so it's important to, to get that stuff cleaned out and the rest of the agents though Help well, see, much, so that's why we have the injector cleaner in there. That's a good point. Um, you know, if you have good lubricity, it's going to help you in a lot of aspects, but that's something where you're going to need a strong cleaner to, to go in there and clean all that out. Thanks to Jason.
Let's see, Aaron, do you um, what's some of the, the common questions you you run across about EDT stuff that that people ask mostly, you about? Mostly, it's about diesel extreme. They they're obviously compatible products, but a lot of folks that don't put a lot of miles on their vehicles ask if using diesel extreme twice a year is too much or if it'll hurt it mm -hmm. when they haven't gone the 6,000 miles that is recommended. And the answer for that is it's not harmful. We've done a lot of no harm testing. It won't hurt your vehicle. It's just not necessary. To, to so run it right. every tank, you mean, or Correct. more often. So the EDT is just to maintain the cleanliness between the heavy duty cleanings and the diesel extreme. And then still get the other benefits, Correct. like the cetane, water disbursement, all that stuff. Um, I, that's a good point because I get a lot of people that, that ask me, you know, they, they try Diesel Extreme, they they love it so much, they want to use every tank, which they can, right? I mean, like Absolutely. you said, it's not going to hurt anything, um, but that's that's why we came out with EDT because uh, a good analogy, both of these have your, your cetane, your fuel stabilizer, water dispersant, lubricity, all that good stuff, but when it comes to the cleaning, Diesel Extreme is much more... Of a, of a stronger cleaner so a good analogy that i like to use is edt's like brush your teeth every day these little streams like going to the dentist every six months so sure if if, if you want to you can use diesel stream every time but that's why we have edt so you, you can one it doesn't take as much a little more friendly on your wallet and you'll still get all those other benefits and, and keep everything clean for you know 6,000 plus miles when you're ready for diesel stream again. That's it. That's it. Um, let's see. We typically, um, well, in a lot of tests we've done, we've tested, we're in Ohio, and we, we've done tests with the city of Columbus, um, Ohio State University, and uh, we, we get some good results back on fuel economy. Usually uh, with, with our fuel additives, you can get a seed increase of uh, up to you know three five percent in fuel economy um especially in the, the high mile trucks um that's where you, where you really see the results um kind of want to want to say why that is or the the science behind that several reasons the injector cleaner and the cetane boost are the two that are responsible for that uh cetane boost burns the fuel more efficiently more efficient combustion so you don't lose the power and then the injector cleaner cleans out the injectors obviously and uh, maintains the original spray pattern because if your if your injector starts to get gummed up your power you're going to lose power and, and compression um and and I, I don't know the the test off the top of my head but i know uh we we did a test with um i think it was a, a nine truck fleet um you know we studied it over uh however many weeks or months it was and uh we, we tested fuel economy um power and you could see a gradual decline over so many miles and then we introduced um edt and you could see it starts to climb back up and if i'm not mistaken that the the regain in power will be within uh Two percent of what where it should be. Oh, correct. So as if it was off the showroom floor. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> Didn't hear <your> research. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, we've done several of those fleet tests. Um, one of them was four point nine percent average increase. Two miles one was four point two, and one was an astounding seven point three. Seven point three. On one particular test, so. Those were some high mileage vehicles. That yeah, speaking of, so. that, I mean that's where you see the, the best benefits. Right. Um, and then even if you got a, a brand new truck, um, using EDT right out of the gate is going to help you out with longevity uh, when it comes to your your injectors being clean, um, getting that fuel economy to to pay for the products, and and rust corrosion inhibitors like we talked about. So it's whether it's brand new truck or high miles, EDT is the way to go. In uh, a ma matter of fact, that, that reminds me. Speaking of all of our, uh, you know, records and 
performance side of things that we've done. Um, Trey Sykes, shout out to Trey and his, his BMW. Uh, EDT is good in, in performance applications too. If you want that extra power, um, the, the C10 will help you help you get there. Yes, that's he set the North American record on EDT. Yeah, a while little, a little heavier dosage than while back. Depends on the bottle, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but it was EDT in the tank, so it counts. He's got a big old EDT Rash. wrapped on his on what on his hood, I think. The whole, the whole vehicle. Yeah. Let's see. Um, keep the questions coming if you got them. Uh, like I said, we're giving away six bottles. Um, go ahead and, and call call out somebody now. Um, Evan, you Evan was asking about um, EDT and DWAG if if EDT has one or anti-gel capabilities in it. Um, but we'll, we'll send you out a bottle of EDT for you to try, so you can get that. It doesn't. It doesn't have. That capabilities um, however the water dispersant is a special water dispersant that does lower the freezing point of the water in the fuel so it's not its main claim that there are a, there's a small benefit yeah for that but not enough to call it a winter product and that's for your your want winter and I job um Talk about um, we we mentioned uh, water dispersant and there's actually depending on the chemical right there there's two different ways to handle moisture in, in the fuel um, emulsify emulsifier and a, and a demulsifier can you, can you explain we're getting real technical now but can you explain <laughs> that demulsifier separates the water from the fuel so it can be separated pure fuel to water separator um, and then eliminate from the system completely uh, a lot of bacteria forms in water so the less water you have in the system the better emulsifiers hide the water inside of the diesel fuel and potentially will destroy an injector by creating steam in the combustion process and it can blow the tip of the injector off so that's why we don't go for the emulsion method. <laughs> so is there obviously there, you run some risks um, with emulsification? Um, is there any other pros or cons to, to either one? I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. All right. Uh, let's see, we got another question from Rick. Uh, he's asking about transmission treatment, which we don't have out here in front of us, but uh, transmission stiction eliminator is our transmission product, TSE for short. Um, give us a quick rundown of, of TSE. Uh, TSE <clears throat> is a group five base oil that is very particle and charge. It's very electrostatically charged. It brings all of your additives back into solution so they can do their job. Um, the additives are polar molecules that will end up sticking to the sides of any metal in the passageways. And the TSE brings it all back into solution and, and increases your performance. Can you leave it in the whole time? Absolutely. If you change your fluid and add Absolutely. it in there? No, no issues there. No issues at all. <laughs> uh, what? Are, okay, so Evan's got another question. Um, will EDT help with soot? Yes. <laughs> um, the C the cetane improver has more efficient combustion, so that'll reduce your hydrocarbons in your soot. Um, so basically, we've got like a, we've seen a fifty percent reduction in DPF regens by using EDT. So it does, that's that's it does, a huge number. It does help with the set. And basically, it's because everything's burning more efficiently. Right. Lower emissions, less set. And talking about, I mean, DPFs. You know, if if you got one in your truck, it, it can be expensive. 
um, especially if you, if you have to do manual regens. So if you cut those in half, one, you can save money that way, but even your, your fuel economy is going to go up and, and pay for the product itself. And for uh, for the people out there who don't or may not know, we the EDT actually has two different treat ratios. Uh, we have the, the one ounce per 25 gallons or the two ounces per 25 gallons, uh, the, the premium dose and performance dose. Aaron, the, the biggest difference there is just c -tain. C -tain. Obviously, it, it doubles everything in the recipe, but the c -tain improvement is what we call so if you, if you do the, the premium dose, which is one ounce per 25 gallons, how many points in cetane? It's four. Four points. And what about the, the two ounces? Points for two ounces. So bring it full, full circle, talking about your fuel across the country. If you get a, a bad batch of fuel, you add two ounces of BDT, you're going to bump that cetane by seven points. Super, so Super premium. Super <laughs> premium. And... and Talking, talking to you, Evan, that's going to help with your, your soot because you got higher cetane levels. Correct. There you go. Let's see, uh, Aaron, you got anything else on the uh, agenda for today? Uh, just a couple of small things. Uh, we would like to wish a happy 28th birthday to Melissa Benson on Monday. Uh -huh. And her daughter, Catherine, will be five very shortly after that. And they're uh, they're good friends of the company, so <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> um, also, we are going to do a bunch of R and D testing for trucks, mm -hmm. um, emissions testing. Um, if you have a 2007 older diesel vehicle or a DPF deleted, uh, call us or email us. We would like to do some emissions testing on your vehicles, and we'll give you free products. We won't make we won't charge you for it. <laughs> So yeah, if uh, if you're interested in some um, some science that we're so proud of, give us a call. We'll, we'll work with you and, and do some testing there. Um, speaking of which, we got a, We got a semi coming in. Is it next week? Um, what, what are we doing with them? I haven't been given the full scope, but it is also emissions testing. Are we, are we and mileage testing as well? So so we're checking out uh, EDT. EDT. Are we are we hooking uh hooking him up to the engine polygraph? Polygraph. We have a new opacity meter which measures the soot level in the exhaust, and we have a gas analyzer, exhaust gas analyzer. So What's a or after during? So sometimes I'll I'll walk back into the shop and I see we we got a car or a truck in there and they got um, this fancy machine. They got something in the dipstick. That that's the engine polygraph, right? Yeah. What, what's going on there? What, is, what does that tell you? It's uh, a dynamic blow-by tester for a simple term. It measures the cycles of your exhaust, the pulse width of the exhaust, and the crankcase to see any discrepancies between cylinders. Or hmm. So it's pretty... The math involved is ridiculous. <laughs> but it's More than what I can handle pretty good uh, indicator of something going on with your vehicle or going good. Yeah. So, so you do something like that. Um, oil analysis, that's always another great way, great way to, to see what's going on inside inside the engine. Um, on the, the email we sent out er, earlier this week, we mentioned we're giving away free products, um, talk about EDT, but also um, Talking about Firepunk and their their record that they set over this past weekend, um, we're just going to give a shout out to them and, and which products that they're they're using. Um, and, and right now they're running our adrenaline race oil. I don't, I'm not sure which viscosity they got now, um, especially in the S10. Um, so they're S10. So they're mixing. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, they are mixing two parts of the Adrenaline R5 with one part of the R6. And they're also using our gear oils, our transmission fluids, our antifreeze, um, basically all the fluids. Hot shots. Our hot shot secret fluids. 
And uh, for the guys who maybe you got a daily driver and you don't want to, to buy a race oil, um, all even our heavy duty diesel oil. Sorry. <laughs> Um, even heavy duty diesel oil, two hour race oil has FR3 in there. Um, so just a quick note on this. If, you know, if, like I said, if you don't want to buy a race oil and you just got a daily driver, but you still want to get those, those benefits, that extra power, um, check out FR3. It's, um, it's one and a half ounces per quart of oil. So depending on, on your engine, you, you don't even need that, need that much and you'll still get. 5% increase in horsepower, uh, a little bit better fuel economy, overall just protection, general maintenance, it's, it's preventative maintenance, it's, it's going to help. 43% less wear. 43% less wear. He knows his stuff. Um, I don't have much else, Aaron. You got anything else? I do not. Unless that's a Okay, Tom Tom. We got another question from Tom Tom. He was our, our first question to ask about FR3. Um, he was asking us about some behind the scenes stuff here at LSI. Any idea how many people are part of the LSI team? Um, well, it depends. Do you, do you count our sponsor drivers? Um, all of our guys out there that's helping us do some testing, things like that? Who knows? A bunch of people. Uh, but in house, um, I don't know. We we got a good amount here. I don't know how many exactly. Um, Thirty to forty people, roughly. Um, so not not a ton of people for the amount of work that we do. So um, if you see somebody out there, <laughs> yeah. If you see somebody out there with a hot shot shirt on, say hello. Um, again, we'll you know pacemakers, Mount Vernon, Ohio. If we got anybody local, uh, we always are out there set up a booth like i mentioned that's tomorrow um we usually get a, a good group of uh employees that show up out there so uh if you're local come by say hello get some free stuff Aaron likes aaron's gonna be there you can be signing autographs yes between rounds uh, well i think uh that's about all we Although got i didn't get my promo package completed and printed off so i will only be signing edt bottles okay so 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 if i understand correctly aaron you're gonna buy a couple cases of edt right with your own money and then sign them and hand them out at the I racetrack i believe that's not what i said no <laughs> okay all right comes out of my <laughs> uh so we got we got a couple questions that came through evan like i said we'll, we'll get you a bottle sent out uh tom tom I'm going to give you a bottle just because I like your name. So we'll, we'll send you a bottle out. Um, so if you guys got questions after the, the uh, live video ends, go ahead and post them. We'll get back with you to answer your questions. Um, so that's two people. We still got four more bottles that we're going to send out. So um, post on the post on the on the video and, and we'll get back with you. But I think that's uh, that's all I got. Aaron, you got anything else? I'm all out. All right, guys. We'll uh, we'll see y'all next week.